on in. What's up, everyone? I'm Stephen Harrell, Tiny House Listings. I thought I'd give you a tour of my schoolie. It's a 2003 International, and um, it's now a schoolie, rolling tiny house on wheels. As you can see, the whole bus has been converted and it looks very much like a cabin on wheels. First walk in, this is kind of like the living area. It's got an old couch in here. Definitely needs to be replaced, but that's no big deal. Uh, nice flat screen TV. Uh, comes with a dad. <laughs> dad doesn't come with it. He's in a like, uh, recliner chair. This is really good if you're rolling down the road, you want to talk to the person driving. Um, it's got a little work area here where one of those electric fireplaces and a cooler like a built-in cooler um if i were to keep this thing long term i would rip that out that out move the chair and have like a big long workbench uh with like built-in fridge or whatever even though there's a fridge down there um maybe like solar battery compartment things like that well what's really cool when you're hanging out tailgating living whatever you can live here you can sit here on this couch and then there's like a table here and then you can also watch tv right here dvd player built into the wall all that jazz Really cool. Is if you're on shore power, you do not have to worry about staying cool in this thing because it has three of these roof mounted like RV style air conditioners. And another thing is there's two pop tops here. One in the front, one in the back. It used to be the emergency exit. So you can pop that uh, if it's like a mild day and let a lot of heat out. Setting area right here, this couch. If I would keep this thing long term, I think I would get rid of it too. It's a little bit too poofy. It's nice, but when you're sitting here chilling like this, uh, it kind of like kind of sink down into it, which I particularly don't like. But Really good spot to, again, watch TV. Then when you get into the kitchen, I guess you could call it the gala area. Is that what they call it in the boat? I don't know. Anyway, there's plenty of storage above, down below. Kitchen sink. Um, one of the, oh my gosh, cooktops. Electric cooktop, microwave. Plenty and plenty of storage. Over here you actually have a, uh, it's a little dark in here, but that's okay. Um, there's a guest bunk right here. It's kind of high, so you could just use a little... Step stool down below, there's plenty of storage. As you can see I've got some of my knickknacks there. First aid kit, electric box. Yeah, as you can see, the whole thing is built to kind of mimic a cabin. Uh, the wood on top, and when you get into the kitchen area, there is carpet. Uh, plenty of lighting right here at nighttime. Uh, this is to turn on the water pump, I think it is, the water pump. There's like a ton of controls, different things going on. Um, to raise the or lower the lights in the kitchen. Um, plenty of storage up here, which is really, really cool. Love it. And you got a decent sized fridge. It's bigger than dorm style in that. It's like the regular fridge and then a freezer on top. Um, then you have a closet over here. Plenty of room for hanging your clothes. Then right here is kind of a neat touch for the door. You go inside, you have your bathroom. Um, kitchen. This right here is like your RV style flush. I'm sorry. Shower. <laughs> you got your bathroom. It's like uh, you can open the window while you're doing your business if you like. Got a shower. Kind of hangs up right there. Um, flush toilet, RV style. Uh, you can. This is what you call a wet bath. You can take a bath in here if you need to wash your hands, anything like that. Just take it over to the kitchen sink. This is your second uh, RV style AC. You got the one up front, two, and then when you go into the master bedroom, which is king size. When you go in here, it definitely feels like. A sailboat, kind of like one of the berths in a sailboat. Um, excuse the pine straw. Um, yeah, another escape hatch, third RV uh, style air conditioner. And then over here you have another bed uh, TV when you're laying down. And you have the AC right over you. And then you can open up the curtains on both sides. And look out. So the original purpose of buying the Beast Bus was to uh, for it to be like a rolling tiny house listings office yeah. and also to um, go to tiny house festivals, things like that. Uh, but the plans changed, so I decided I'm going to sell it. Outside, show you around. Out here you've got a huge awning. As you can tell, the guy who actually did the conversion was a Harley Davis, Harley Davidson fan. Uh, what's really cool here is that you can set up an outdoor shower. There's like a PVC little kit and then here's the outdoor shower. You got lights and these are whenever you're backing up. Um, also an outside outlet. If you decide to tow anything, you can tow from back here. Also, there's a backup camera. Definitely comes in handy when you have a 
40 foot long bus. And then back here, excuse the mess, you have a huge storage um, area. And you can see here's all the plumbing for the bus. And then you have, this is an electric hot water heater, but that one's gotta go. I've already purchased a uh, propane one, but this one just isn't cutting the mustard. And then right here you have a absolutely huge uh, water tank. I think it's like 200 gallons. And as you can see back there, tons of storage just like that on both sides. Here is the flush valve. It's just like a RV works the same thing. Um, so that way, whenever you have gray water, black water, it's all the same in this one, uh, you just pump it out, flush it. This is how you get water into the tank. And this is where you do your business. Bathroom, shower, master bedroom. This is a Honda Inverter 3000. Uh, the good thing about this is you can plug this in while you're going down the road to get the ACs going. And I uh, mean, nice and cool while you're going down the road. And of course, that powers everything else up too when you're off grid or don't have any shore power around. And to make sure the whole bus has power, you just plug into right here with a 30 amp cable, plug, wire, cord. A neat contraption you can put, uh, it comes with the bus, is you put your digital antenna in here and then plug it into here, which gives you uh, cable TV everywhere you go via a digital antenna. And then it's really high, it goes above here so you can scan if you're somewhere else and you'll have digital channels. The bus engine, of course, is a V8 and it's diesel and it runs really, really well. It's been until just very recently, it's always been serviced by um, local, local school district in South Carolina. Engine runs great. You could just take off anywhere tomorrow and go wherever you need to go. I've uh, taken on road trips already, runs great. Yeah, so that was like a really quick, really dirty, quick and dirty uh, tour of the Beast Bus. This thing's awesome. I love it. Uh, circumstances have changed. I don't really need it anymore, so I decided to sell it. It's here in Eastern North Carolina. In this video, if you click down in the link, you'll see the link to the listing. That'll take you right there. So if you found this video on YouTube, click on the listing below and it'll take you to uh, Tiny House Listings where this thing's listed. Great bus. Uh, I'd say great for full-time living. Uh, one thing is the roof is 5'11", I think. 5'10", 5'11". So if you're taller than that, whenever you're walking, you'll have to hunch down a little bit, which is my case. I'm 6'4". Um, but it's some people that matter, some it doesn't. Uh, definitely great for full-time living or have a cabin. Uh, rolling cabin from time to time, uh, small family, all that stuff. Great setup. Uh, so if you're interested, send me a message through Tiny House Listings and I'll get back with you. Thanks.